is gonna be the way. Already, whoever it is is probably gone by now. I, unless you want me to take the gun. No, no, no. I think that's less good. You do the door. I got the gun. <laughs> Hold on there. Hold on there, Mister. Freeze. Ah, oh, what? All right, all right. Just take it easy, Grandpa. Okay, everybody, just calm down. Yeah, just move over there. Go on, move. Let me say what I came to say. I'm here to tell you what you're up against being back on this mountain. You should never have returned. I don't know why you did after what happened last year. You mean with Hannah and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Our responsible. You hold on to your horses. I don't take kindly to you kids coming up here to my mountain. Your mountain? Huh? I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> Well, the mountain don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. <laughs> Who? What's he talking about? What the hell's a Wendigo? Let's hear him out. Not like we have a choice. Now, I'm only gonna tell you this once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got reasons I wanna get it off my chest. See? I told you. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shut up, Mike. There is a curse that dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Oh, crap. Find somewhere safe. The basement might be okay. Okay, get down there now, all of you, and wait. What? Why? For how long? Guys, I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Where did you leave him? In the shed. Uh, your friend will already be dead. No. No, he can't be. We, we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. I, I'm not letting anything else happen to him. Anything else? What What do you mean? Uh, Chris, don't. I hit him. We thought he'd killed Jessica, and, and, and so he got me riled up. 
I hit him in the head. Chris! Maybe he deserved it. No matter what, we can't just let him die. Then, I'll go with you. I, I don't need your help. You're going alone, it's suicide. Fine. The rest of you, get down to the basement. Be safe. And don't go outside again until we're back. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. Well, I'm going to get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Do you understand? Uh, yeah, I think so. You need to follow me and do everything I tell you. This is the end. You point towards the thing you want to kill. I know how to use a shotgun, man. No, you don't. What? How do you know? Trust me. I know. Hey. Come back safe. Come on. We need to hurry, son. I, uh... See you soon. So, so, so tell me, you're the expert on these things. Uh, what's, uh, what, what, what's a guy got to know? You just be careful. You follow my lead. So, how many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you've been shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? No, it'll slow it down. Well, how do you kill it? They don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it, and it can kill them if you have to. Their skin is like, it's like tough armor, unless you burn it off first. It's gross. Well, what, what are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable, or, I mean, can you figure out what they're gonna do? Here to some patterns, like any animal or human. Well, you mean like how? Like they've got schedules? Well, they only hunt at night. Oh. Why? I didn't ask. Any uh, pro Wendigo tips? Like if I rub garlic all over me, they would be able to smell me or something? Uh, they'll still smell you. Anything like that? you if you're standing still. It's like toads. <laughs> Sight is based on changes of movement in their field of vision. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't recommend testing it out. Unless you have no other choice. What happened? Oh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh. Right now. We gotta find Josh. He can still be out there. <laughs> First, the Wendigo. He'll render you immobile. And then he strips the skin off of your entire body, piece by piece. And he keeps you alive and aware and feasts on your organs, one piece at a time. So the launch then. Might still be near. Huh? <laughs> 
so good up there right now understatement of the night chris where's the flamethrower guy uh yeah he uh he didn't make it what happened the thing it uh, tore him apart right in front of me oh god all right these are all the doors yeah are you sure what are you looking for another way out do you have the key for the cable car josh He's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great. Great. If that fucking thing got a hold of Josh, then we're shit out of luck. Fuck it. I'm going to get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm going to get us all the hell out of here. What is all that? Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? Some of them survived, but like 15 of them didn't make it. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. I'm just saying, it's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up here. That's how I got back here. You guys know what to do. Yeah. No one leave. Okay? It's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. Hey, what happened out there? You don't want to know. Hey, are you okay? He was right there. What, the flamethrower dude? Yeah, the, the weird guy. He got himself killed. Was it... The Wendigo? Yeah. No, he was definitely not lying about that. Oh, Jesus. What did it look like? Like, 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 like a, like a person, only... But just d distorted, somehow. This guy's a little OCD. This says that because the Wendigos are mutated from humans, when they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. What does it say? Let me see that. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. We've got to get to Mike. Like now. Oh, John. 
Joshua, you should have listened to me. Because of your choices, people have died. I don't know which is worse, actively triggering events that lead to someone's death, or passively allowing a tragedy to occur. Because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. Remember last year, huh? How you left your poor sisters to die? You did nothing to help. Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear, while a real threat was closing in. No, it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. Your game has gone terribly wrong. And your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. You're all alone. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become, huh? Why did you hurt them? Joshua, why did you hurt them? Oh, but of course you did. They were your friends, you misled them, you lied to them, and you put them through a night of genuine horror. Let's hope that it's not too late for atonement. And that your friends, if they still are your friends, can save you from the depths of darkness. It's not so good up there right now. Ah, uh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh, quiet. Uh, yeah, he, uh... Wait! No more. Holy shit! What the fuck? What are you looking for? Another way out. Do you have the key for the cable car? Josh, he's gotta have it. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. You guys know what to do, okay? It's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. <laughs>